Welcome back, everyone, to the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Greek Lover. But we are here, and we have the Armistice of Compagnie. Central powers are not able to effectively fight further. They're asking for an armistice from on top, which means that the war is finally over and the central powers have lost. The great powers will soon cease the endless gunfire and bloodshed. A new era has arrived as a political geography changes drastically, and the old guard is completely shattered. The great war, which resulted in the deaths of millions of innocent people, has now finally ended. They, they dead, rest in peace. We actually did Gallipoli, like I did it. And we're actually doing decently, actually. Uh, but with that, with the end of the war, we have that. We had influenza, but honestly, we're doing okay. Um, after forcing through, using Khan's commands, a lot of stuff here. Uh, we forced the king to abdicate, which happened. Now, historically, we did not proclaim the Second Hellenic Republic, I think. We actually invited Alexandropus and became the Kingdom of Greece. We requested British economic aid. We purged anti venizelists And we established the Lazarus Parliament. And we're declaring martial law. Um, so... Which then we'll lose our de democratic nation. We won't be able to have elections. We'll get some war support. We'll get a war economy. And then we became, we'll become proto-fascist or authoritarian. Probably authoritarian down here. Which makes no sense. But towards a new decade, I guess. You know, interbellum. Welcome to the interwar tree. Finally. Which would be great. Hey, we actually did this. Look at that. That is actually fantastic. Can our guys actually do anything here? As Constantinople is a, you know, a frontline city. Go figure. Oh. Uh, armistice. Cool. Because right now, the war, it's, it's going. Romania's doing okay, Bulgaria's doing okay. Wait, wait, Romania came back. Wait, what? Wait, when did Romania get here? What the heck? Um, America's in the war now. And they've actually been able to do okay, overall. Uh, America did not, also did not want to join the war initially. So I had a tag switch over to them, so that have them join the war. I, I left this on historical. So, very strange, very odd. I do not understand. Um, so we'll see what happens with the war. And we're doing okay for now. But a lot of funky stuff, and the Ottomans are actually doing okay, unfortunately. Oh, and the game might crash right now. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Oh! Hey! Hey, Serbia's back, look at that. Um, so, okay, so, denounce a truce in a period. After, a long, after the Great War, the opposing alliances entered into a long-term peace to prevent a major conflict in Europe. Well, we're going to declare martial law anyways. Oh, we're victors of the Great War. Oh, God. Dang it. Cannot declare wars. Can justify war goals against a country that has not generated world tension. Can't, can't join factions. Entente economic aid. Oh. So now we have the remaining peace deal. Also, this guy's gained a lot of experience doing a lot of stuff here. Um, guys, this guy's all right. You... Oh, look at that. We're down here, too. Um, something tells me we're going to need these guys down here. Also, our navy is not recovered since then, but... You know, with, it, with everything here, it's just been kind of a mess. Not gonna lie. So, Paris Peace Conference. Politicians from the Entente country, the nationalists, are making important decisions, such as the establishment of the League of Nations, conclude treaties with the defeated countries, and establishment of the mandates in which the victorious country rules over the foreign territories of the defeated country, where retaliation against Germany. Also, discussion about the reestablishment of country borders that reflecting national boundaries. Minorities? Oh. Spoke control of Western Thrace. Ooh. And then reinforce administration of Everos. Yeah, that'd be great. And as soon as we got war economy, it's gone. But we gotta be ready for the war against these guys, too. So we have no chief of the Air Force, which really sucks. High command, less attrition. Uh, classically liberal. There's not much we can really do now. We gotta wait for the interbellum now, I guess. Which kinda sucks. So, yeah. Has completed focus. Integrate the Espitrel. Uh, crackdown on them. We don't integrate them. Where does the integrate one? Oh, let's get over here. We can't eradicate the opposition. Oh, this is where the. Oh, okay, this is where everybody wanted. Revive Eastern Rome. Hey, eventually, maybe someday we'll do it. Um, join Middle Europa. That'd be actually really cool. Third Hellenic civilization. Begin the Asia Minor campaign. Well, we can't go that way. We can't leave the coalition, so Southern Russia intervention. Begin the Asia Minor campaign. Ooh. Or we can get the Great Smyrna administration, which would be kind of nice. You can go, the game's kind of laggy, though. Deal with Turkish resistance. Uh, yeah. Appoint Mr. Gagadis. Oh, more daily political power. I like that guy a lot. Ooh, more compliance as well. We we'll probably want to race down there. Looks like we're going to need to save our political power. What is this? Balona becomes owner and controlled by Principality of uh, Albania. Balona? What do you mean? 
Is this Bellona? Northern Epirus. Oh. Well, what do we do about that? Scuttling the German fleet. What the heck? Uh, formation of the Weimar Republic. Oh, it becomes about Albanian. Uh, who cares? Then? But right now, we are a Greek. Democratic Greeks. Hungarian Soviet Republic. And things are falling apart. Yeah, we want this guy. That's actually very good. Weekly stability to prepare the uprising. Prepare for the Balkan conflict, but there's this one, which is actually pretty good too. More political power and weekly stability. Can we actually do that one? It looks like we should be able to, yeah, eventually, so. Oh, Nestor Makno, welcome aboard. <sighs> I love Ukraine. It's always people killing each other and whatnot, trying to get more territory. Nestor Makno, looks like he's kind of almost. His eyes are weird. Um, it doesn't look like there's very much going to be happening right now. We're trying to build more roads. Hey, we actually have 15 civilian factories finally. Wow. Wow. I want another city though. Overall, I want to do. Oh, peace for the Romanian Hungarian War. Peace at last. Huh. Well, here's the German Republic. It's looking. They still have Alsace Lorraine though. I'm sure it'll be fixed later. We have German Austria. Karl Seitz. Poland's looking a bit awkward. Huh, it was like, ah, uh, another day in Poland. We have West Ukraine, not normal Ukraine, just West Ukraine. Petrushevich. Oh, and there goes, that's good. Liberal Mexico, huh? Romania's looking nice and thick. Bulgaria's looking a little weak. Serbia's looking nice and thick. Pesic. State of Slovenes, Croats, and Serbs. Nothing bad would ever happen there. Of course, Italians are like, I want more territory. And German Austria is just kind of like German Austria. Cool. So we came out of the war pretty unscathed. I mean, obviously I'd use cons commands because there were some pretty funky things going on here and I didn't like all the funky things going on. So Can we actually get some something decent here, actually? Nothing there for that. We're going to need some more screens, though, definitely. Armor 3, yeah. Anything here? Because we don't have to put stuff on here. 31 knots. It's not bad. We'll take that for now. Once we get the next cruiser hole. Oh, look at that. Assyrian Assyria. Oh, I'm an empire. It's going to need to reform eventually anyways. Um, I think we could do that. Death of Prince John, huh? Oh, that sucks, bro. Sorry about your kid. Oh, we saw these. We did this earlier, too. I like that one, right? So we get more consumer goods it works with. That's nice. Polish-Ukrainian war fires. You know, Poles and Ukrainians versus Ukrainians. And that's a thick Lithuania. Oh my god. Oh, the Russian state. They're still fighting the Civil War, of course. Under the Soviet westward. <laughs> Look at this guy. Zulonovich. Estonia. Soviet Russia. I thought Lenin was killed already. Oh, maybe not. Kolchak, they're still fighting their giant war. Happy 1919, everybody. It's a new year, new us. You know, good stuff. Recon companies. 1919, anything there? Anything here? Uh, yeah, a bit of artillery. Oh, a little bit of lag. Let's pause the game. Please don't crash. Something happened here. Oh, it's for trucks? Breakthrough? Sure, we'll get the breakthrough. Don Host, or Host, Crimea. Oh, okay, so German, the German Republic, they're still League of Nations, out of the Great War. Oh, shnikes. Military alliances were weakened due to internal divisions. Most alliances have transformed to international treaties, which should reduce global tensions. At the end of the Versailles Conference of Winners, the League of Nations was founded. An organization uh, that perfect, performed a uh, peacekeeping function. We have arrived at a new age. Oh, crap, I'm not clicking on that. We barely have enough things to do here to build ourselves up anyways. Yeah. Paris Pink Conference uh, done. Oh, what's in place? Oh, reinforced administration? Yes. Oh, we got even this bus. Adrianopolis. Or Adrianopoli. Cool. Also, we are on local autonomy now because I did switch that over. I didn't realize we were on. Uh, the game auto sets you to military governor, which is not bad. But I want more compliance. Like, we want as much compliance as fast as possible. Yeah, it increases resistance, but still. And there goes the Irish. Everyone's killing each other. But such is the way of the world. Oh, the UK actually owns Constantinople. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so the Ottoman Empire is divided up like it's in Fyodor Reich. Historically, of course, like this. 
But still, uh, the Greek Smyrna administration remove yes. So here, ah, Cuve Emilie resistance. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, but it's a course. It doesn't even matter too much. It matters, but not too much. Any more minorities we have to deal with? Turbochargers? Yes. I'd like to have a Greek Air Force at one point. But I like research speed, too. Ah, uh, the UK going to war with Afghanistan. That's pretty normal. Who hasn't gone to war with Afghanistan? Even Afghanistan goes to war with Afghanistan. Yeah, I deal with Turkish resistance. That would be great. And then appoint Sturgiadis. And then after that, then we'll probably have to do... The Southern Russia Intervention and begin the Asia Minor Campaign. Bloody Easter. Today the inhabitants of the village of Paradisos of Rhodes gathered outside the church the day of the resurrection of Christ. They shouted slogans in favor of the Union. Other Dodecanese with Greece, led by teachers and priests of the village. Almost immediately the Italian Cabarini, Cabarbinerini appeared in their first move was to arrest the two teachers, Constantinos Panzatis and Nikolaus Magaffa, who they felt were largely in control of what was going on in the rest, however, provoked the reaction of those present who protested that everyone was shouting in favor of the Union. Therefore, the whole village or no one should be arrested. Within a short time, the Italians were not going to capture the whole village, but to kill two people in cold blood. After the rest of the teachers, Pantazis and Magaffa, the situation got out of control. The Italian authorities did not hesitate to kill the priest Papa Lucas, one of the pioneers of the resistance in the village. It is even said that he, the Italian Carabinieri, who stabbed Papa Lucas with a bayonet, made a complete turn of his body as to ensure his death. A few meters away in the village square, the village banker, Athula Verdubu, tried to protect a child being beaten by an Italian soldier. She took the bread maker and hit him. Immediately, the Italian turned and impaled her with his lance. Athula Verdubu died instantly. Are they insane? Yeah, they are. But they're going to lose Valona. And, uh, well, Greece, oh, not Greece, not us, but Russia wants to kill everybody. Huh. How's Asia looking? Japan is very white. Look at that. Yoshihito. Yoshihito. Huh. East Prussia plebiscite. Oh boy. Hopefully we've settled peacefully. Poland's looking thicker. And it's 1919. What do we want here? Better ships? We got these ships coming along, which are pretty nice. Oh, we must also do that. Uh, you know what? Spend it. The 50. Spend that there. It's fine we spend it a little bit, because we're done with our naval doctrine, aren't we? Upper Silesia plebiscite. Ah. Interesting. Ah, I forgot about all this stuff, too. Operational reserves. More HP. That's not bad. Ah, I forgot. I literally forgot about all this stuff. Wow. Oh, bayonet strength, huh? Infantry experience gained from combat. Infantry design costs. Motorized infantry. Interesting. Uh, advisors. Uh, proper heritage. What do we have over here? Static Warfare, Operational Reserves. Ah, Nationals moving in Turkey. Good! Uh, Queen of Battle, Infantry Experience Gain, Infantry Officer. I do like that one. Best of the best. Interesting. Eighty-five percent compliance. Eighty-five, eighty-five, eighty-five. We gotta wait for that. Proof heavy batteries are nice. Um, eighteen. Oh, the best anti batteries. Oh, and there it goes. Ukrainian People's Republic. And now it's all red. Oh boy. Now we'll do with the Turkish resistance, of course. So we still gotta wait for this. So we're gonna sell points. Stergiadis. Let's kill each other. As the Turks are killing themselves. Yes. Kemal Pasha, Mustafa Kemal Pasha, Pasha, great reformer. Pasha, there are a lot of Pashas around here. So what, what's the compliance like here? Ooh, doesn't matter. Twenty-six percent could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, could, be, could be way better though. But whatever. Active sonar, yes. Go ahead. That's fine. Training your ships more and more and more. What do we got here? Heavy ship hulls. 1916 cruisers, not bad. Medium batteries, heavy batteries. We want light cruiser batteries. No anti-air, which we probably should research. Hydrophones, back. Well, remove the gas. Level 3 is not bad. Level 3 armor. Secondary batteries, rapid fire threes. Oops, wrong one. Torpedoes and secondary batteries. And depth charges would be nice. Not bad. That's a halfway decent uh, ship, actually. 
Now, can we actually make any? Probably not. But whatever, you know? Max speed, more armor? Yes, please. <clears throat> Are we suffering from attrition here at all? The fire military factory. A large fire broke out in one of the military factories. Each part of the production will be... Oh, God. There goes... Uh, bu production buildings were completely destroyed. Restoration pr production will take a long time. It's necessary to draw conclusions. Also, I did jump over to ex early mobilization because we could, so we're not really feeling the effects of... Oh, weekly war sport goes down. Oh, God, that's not good. The Americans force their arms control acts. Oh. When do we get that? Oh, crap. We just get, got new armor. Dang it. Oh, well. Carriers. Interesting. We could do that, or we don't have to. Oh, and our have capitulated. Now they're in a civil war. Go figure. Up next, fuel usage and max range go up, or fuel usage goes down, or max speed. Let's go be faster. Range doesn't concern me too much, because these ships are just okay. They're all right. And here, we're going to go with this one now. It's fine. Heavy pants, heavy batteries. Um, ooh, there go the Ottomans. Very good, very good, very good. I guess at this point, we should get some AA. Why not? Everyone wants the AA. Ooh. Resistance goes down. How bad is this resistance right now? There is no resistance. Southern Russia intervention. It's only 35 day focus, thank God. 1.22 political power every single day is not bad. Oh, yes. A point. We just got this one done, so we have more political power. Resistance activity chance goes way down. Polish, Soviet war. Oh, yeah, that's pretty important. Oh, never mind. Oh, Poland's looking like it really is. Oh, good figure. We got Poland. Anti tank upgrade one. Fantastic. Infantry stuff, it's 1919. Not too much there right now. Armored trains, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Keep repairing, I guess. We are trying to build more roads. Southern Russia intervention is very good. Ooh, that'd be nice. But begin the Asia Minor campaign. So, we declare war on the Turkish national uh, movement. Greco Turkish war adds war economy. We best be ready to go. Even though we are looking pretty good right here compared to them, especially. You know what? We've got political power for it. Why not? What did we want? Okay, right. Oh, experience soldier losses. Yeah, this is still. Yeah, and these guys are actually halfway decent. They're anti combo. I did throw in some anti tank on here just in case. And I did throw in flamethrowers too. Because, well, it gives you a lot of breakthrough, a lot of defense, and a lot of soft attack. So I thought that was very important for us to get. What are we missing? M guns, anti tank, support equipment. Guns. Oh god. Do they are they only selling guns? Uh, support equipment is nice. Get whatever we can get right now. Advanced medium stuff is good. Um, early ops of all strutters, seaplanes, fighters, yeah. We're a little bit behind on that stuff. Hopefully, we can do well here. I don't want to end up too a struggle. Egyptian Revolution, very nice. Go in and around them. National Integralist will be nice too. So we got no one else to choose. And the Greco Turkish War. So let's save real quick and see what happens. Well, the Greeks have landed in Smyrna and are ready to take on a full campaign in Asia Minor in order to push its claims and push Turkey to defeat. The Turks have shown fierce resistance so far with their regulars raiding Greek forces in the mountainous terrain of Anatolia. And it's unclear how far the Greeks will go in order to capture Ionia and Constantinople. Can the Greeks win alone? Maybe. Uh, protocol of Kapshitka. Oh, another Empress. Status of Pontus. The Venizelos Titoni Agreement. Uh, let's go with that one. If anything, I want you to go here, 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 here. Just go around him. Ooh. And we're on a war economy already, which is nice. Oh, actually, we're pushing in already. Nice. That is quite a few divisions, of course. 
Dual purpose, very good. Burst that would be nice. Hey, we got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're doing alright. Sue for peace with the Turkish national movement. In order to force the Turks' negotiations, Greeks or Greece needs to capture Ankara, an important supply hub and a command center in central Anatolia. Failure of the operation will most likely result on the Turkish army being in a much more empowered position than before. Greece does not, does not have much time. The question of new territories will be revisited in post war treaty. Denounce the truce. After the Great War, the opposing alliances entered into long term peace over a major conflict in Europe. Uh. Do I want to do this? Maybe? I don't know. The uh, Turkish Irregulars raid us. We were, hearing, we we're having reports in the front of the Turkish Irregulars. Mostly, Chetes or Chetes have went down from the mountains. And raider supplies entered armed conflict with their armed forces in Jeddah Mori that's transferring the supplies to the front. It resulted in many casualties and loss of infantry equipment to the Turks. That sucks. Actually, you need to get to Konya. If there's no one here, I will gladly just beat the crap out of them. Okay, go here. Nice. Good. Let's get down here. If you can circle them, that's the most important thing you can do. Fantastic. Beat them up. Oh, let's continue to beat them up. There you go. Attrition issues and Anatolia. Our war against the Turkish rebels has been going on for several months. Has not brought us a decisive victory. As time goes by, local cooperation and the quality of infrastructure has not improved. The food for the soldiers is difficult to transport too. Help destroy them. Help destroy them. Help destroy them. Good. They raid us. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Whatever. Status of Pontus. Uh, the Venzelo Stetone Agreement. Uh, hello, are you going to move or what? Pontus nationalist movements. The situation in Antilia is so unstable that a little thing is enough to weaken any nationalist movement. That is of Pontus, the ancient Greeks who took refuge in the shores of the Black Sea. Could be very useful to us. They are currently rebelling in the mountains against the Turks who are trying to displace them. As a brother nation, we can further motivate and fund our, their emancipation from the Turkish boot. We should support them. If you win the war, the Republic of Pontus will be liberated. Support the idea of Ponto Armenian Federation. We transfer to Armenia and the Federation will be, will be formed. It's not to spread their fate. Support them. Yeah, we should. Socialist agitators on the front. It appears that the conscripted socialists on the front are heavily demoralizing our armed forces and spreading their communist propaganda all across the front. So huge war as they're spreading anti-war messages and rallying the soldiers to the cause. We need to take action before this spreads any further. Can you like hurry the heck up? Like bro. Low morale on the front. It appears that after nearly a decade of constant war, the Macedonian struggle, the Balkan Wars, the Macedonian Front, and now the Asian Mountain Campaign, the Greek army is slowly becoming incapable to fight the heavily agitated Turks. Much but for quick victory before forces to become effective in combat. Arm resistance in Trebizond. Oh. This is fine. Excuse me. Oh, there's nothing there. I need y'all to hold out. They raid us again. Lack of terrain knowledge. Our forces are very much used to fighting the hills and plains, but this Anatolian territory, our terrain, is filled uh, with deserts and mountains. And Mashley massively hampered our Asia Minor campaign. It's becoming increasingly difficult for us, but it should be relatively easy defeating a few Turkish regulars, right? Oh, come on. Grow up. Well, let's even go straight to Ankara, then. Are you freaking kidding me, boy?
What if we do this? Just hold it for now if you can. Alright, so we're, never, we're lacking a crap ton of guns. We gotta buy a crap ton of guns. Um, one. We want 10,000. Armor trains are nice. It's 1920. Happy New Year, everybody. We're doing all right so far, really. Uh, there we go. Create the Samir Asia de Marie. It's fine. Fine if you need a retreat. That's fine, too. We're uprising. Do they get any buffs here? Because it seems like they got a lot of buffs. Defense on core territory, attack on core territory too. Why are you okay? I don't understand this. We never completed this. We never went over there to do that. You they're over there? That makes no sense, bro. Seriously, come on. Anti air, nineteen twenty. Yes, please. Can you do it? Accept. We can't afford to lose this tile. So let them weaken themselves on our line, hopefully, maybe a little bit. And we'll do that too. They raid us again, which sucks. Mightily, mightily sucks. Yeah, not there too. There you go. I need you right there. So does that mean we can sneak into there? Yes. Can you sneak into there? Oh, look at that. More stealth attack would be very nice. Um, nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing there. Not very much else we can do here. It does kind of suck. Draft dodging? Yeah, no. Keep raiding us, which sucks. How are they able to beat us up so much? They must be getting buff, more buffs or something. Like, this is stupid. Yeah, they got a crap ton of infantry equipment and whatnot. Come on. Let's get our guys over here. Stop taking so long. Let's get more division. This nice protocol of. Kapshitka. Regulars. Yeah, throw them line. We just need more divisions all around here and whatnot. Ooh, we have to hold in. They love attacking us, tell you that much for sure. But we like attacking them back. Nice. Go here to here, that'd be nice, but still. Ooh, yes. Another division encircled. Hopefully we can destroy them. They're pushing out a little bit against us, unfortunately. It is what it is. Come on, and Road Red Army, don't really care. Boom, let's get rid of them. Agility range. Sure. Oh my god, how are they not dead yet? Bro, seriously, come on. Good, thank God they died. Oh, this war sucks. It really sucks. Let's 
expand the occupation. Well, we can't do this one. Repatriate Christians in Ionia. Secure bank loans. I guess we might as well. Huh. Could you do this? Let's support from here. Should be able to. In theory. Should be able to do that too. In theory. Defense ship stuff. Construction speed. What are you doing here? Got some more millies. And we got him. Yes, we do. Uh, you know what? Can you just press the attack here? Oh! There goes our up cereal. Draft form brutes effective. If you want to read this, please go ahead. Awesome. Bro, okay, we had we had this in the bag. Like Brusky. We lost and we won and we won and we lost. Pretty normal. Four experiment. Oh, I do like the attack. Let's recover faster. You're only level four, so it doesn't really matter as much. What do we have here? Infantry. Christian morale. Offense. I wouldn't mind an offensive guy, maybe. Eventually, yes. Maybe. Let the guys spread out a little bit more. Work on getting this tile here. French conquest of Syria, good for them. And we got it. We got it. Victory Nature Minor. Ha! Ah, very good. Wait, where is that? As much as I like seeing what we've completed here, I wish we could see more. Like, oh, Lumoral's gone. Yay, yay! Create the Ionic University, expand the occupation. So, what do we have here? So, we have the Sultanate of Turkey. Welcome back. Oh, there's just a puppet. Oh, that's nice. Defend our homeland. Oh, we have an organized group. We have these guys at. We have Marxist access with Matthias Kofidis. Beautiful. They should be under us. Kingdom of Kurdistan. Oh my god. And the French got even more territory. That is fan flipping fantastic. So now I'm going to send happy guys here. And I'm going to send happy guys to Albania. God, that was that was rough. But we actually did it. We actually really did it. So, secure bank loans. March on Rome. Oh. Nice. Good job, guys. Just a little bit of fascism. Emergency factory construction. Uh, oh, are we still at war? Oh, oh, we're with Armenia. Um, how do I, how do we peace out with them? I guess it might be a forever war then. Um, so we'll repeal martial law, and then we'll go declare new elections, 1920 elections. Always false defeat. The Asian modern catastrophe. Well, that's not true. Prepare the uprising. Trial the six. Relocate refugees in cities. Divide the banknote. Well, we'll probably have a victory here. Allow royalist rallies. Man the national schism. Do we still have the national schism here with us? Destabilizing political normality. Bank loans. Very good for now. Victors of the Great War. Terrible. Entente aid. Expand primary education. No, we don't have it here anymore. Um, Alright. Execution of the Romanov family. Pretty normal. I like more soft attack. Because I'm very biased. Keep training, even though we can't really use you too much. Disperse industry. Get more cap and retention. Would be very nice. Stop fighter ones, yes. Anti air machine guns, yes. Be very nice. Nothing we can add here. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how we've done so far. Extend the occupation. And resource efficiency gain, more fuel gain. That wouldn't be terrible, but... I uh, might have to go with this, maybe. Focus more on planes in the air and whatnot. Not sure why uh, Romania's still here, but whatever. Assassination attempt on Venizelos earlier today an attempt on the life. A Prime Minister of Venizelos was made during his diplomatic visit to France, thankfully. Assassination attempt was thwarted with the Prime Minister suffering only an arm injury. 
It has been reported that the criminals were adherents of the royalist cause. A uh, popular outrage in Athens has been led to the outbreak of serious riots against the real and supposed partisans of ex-king Constantine I. Disaster narrowly averted. Ion Dragumis assassinated, though. Oh, God. This guy. Hellas' most prominent nationalist politician has been killed in cold blood by elements of the Venezuela security battalions in response to the attempt on Venezuela's own life only a day prior. The revolutionary drew his last breath on... Kifisisias Avenue, not far from the American School of Classical Studies at Athens. This tragic event has further fueled the internal struggle between Venezuelist and Royalist elements in the already fragile Hellenic political scene. He will be greatly missed. But do we care? No, I don't. Um, yeah, we're fine. 1920 election selection games. The defeated countries of the Great War were banned from participating because of the responsibility. Countries of war also didn't participate. Well, that's going to just make everyone not like each other more. Wait, so these are ground attack planes. Then what are these? Light bombers? Oh, these are just bombers. I don't care about bombers. Recount planes? Eh. Bombers and seaplanes. Naval bombers? Yeah, that'd probably be pretty important to get, though. Repeal martial law, 35 day focus. I love it. Sounds good to me. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. So we had what? Send of occupation. We had an event. Greece requests to occupy territory. And Redestos, Panormos, and Calipoli. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. 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 But we need this one too. We need all of these things. So they don't want to give up bigger. What are you? My name bigger. Bank loans? Oh, that sucks. So, resistance is going up, which is unfortunate. You need what? Uh, well, I guess we'll do this one, I suppose. How much do we have? 15? Oh, that's not bad. 15 is actually pretty good. Build up another one. And what else we got here? Mm, air stuff. It's looking pretty good overall, actually, in all honesty. That's way too ahead of time, way too ahead of time, way too ahead of time. Naval stuff. It's ahead of time. We're almost done with a lot of research stuff here. Boot armored car. Anything else? Ooh. Why not? Can't really use it though. I don't see anything else about this. Repeal martial law. That's good. Declare new elections. How's the world looking? Oh. Oh, hello. The UK owns that gun. Weird, but okay. Oh, there goes Iraq's gun as well. Infantry anti tank. Very good. There you go as well. And we're also in war economy too, so we're do we're doing all right. Light bombers. We love bombing people, you know. Honestly, recon planes not worth it. I guess you could do the. What are we fine for? If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. I don't think we're gonna to go to, to war with too many people, so good speech. I guess get recon. Non scout plans can only execute this mission on enemy controlled states. Do we get any experience from that? Can we train you at all? Do we get shot down? We don't get any XP. I'd rather not even use you then. Are we missing anything here? Support equipment, anti tank. I'll take everything you got. There you go. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Loads of artillery. Tons of different types of equipment. Lots of artillery and whatnot. You can buy some convoys. Don't really need to, though. We're down to three. It's alright. We're going to declare new elections. 1920 election scene. 
Uh, Venezuela has once again dominated the political scene, winning another election with a large majority after effectively tripling the territorial size of Greece in the time span of ten years. It'll be a decisive quand quadrennium with a liberal party promising a victory in Asia Minor. It's also estimated that national unity will be finally be achieved in order to approve a decisive victory against Kamal's rebel horses, as expected. Very nice. Allow royalist rallies. I might just have these guys be annexed by somebody else. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like we're going to have one more. Oh, look. We're down here. Energy new holdings. Oh, that'd be great. Maybe not. Depoliticize the police, huh? Bombers. Ground attack planes. Fighter threes. Yeah, that'd be probably pretty good to do. What do we got here? More max speeds? I like it. Mm, it's not really worth doing. Democracy support goes up. I hope we go back to war. I want more Magazi stuff. So, integrate new holdings. That would be that would be nice. Depoliticize the military. More army XP gain daily. Division organization planning speed. They lose Venezuela's loyalists and lose politically connected. Men the national schism, which we already don't have. United and strong looks pretty good. The Constantinople coup. Greek coup or integrate the straits or negotiate the straits. I kind of want to negotiate the straits. That seems like fun. Uh, road to Ankara. In order for us to start the negotiations, Greece, Greece needs to capture Ankara. An important supply hub and command center in central Anatolia. Failure of the operation will most likely result in the Turkish army being in a much more power position than before. Greece does not have much time. Setting up an international zone. It's been demanded from us that before we're able to transfer the straits into our administration, we firstly need to set up an international demilitarized zone that ships will be able to freely pass with no restrictions. Some of our diplomats think that this will allow them to violate our territorial integrity while others have opposed that notion. Think it's finally the chance, uh, the chance to get Constantinople. Forget it? Sure. Because right now we did uh, we're gonna, we just did negotiate the straits. Ah, look at that! Look at that! Oh my God, we got Hellenic Republic, fantastic. Um, ah, expand Eregil Steelworks. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, we can just do reinforce administration Adanelia. God, the Hellenic Republic. Oh, now we're finally the Hellenic Republic. We're still at war with the good old Pontus people, but whatever. Investment schemes, don't care. Minorities management, it's fine. Oh, we also have military police too, because we figured as much. Why not? What are we fighting for? Oh, there you go. There's that. Store order in the military, very nice. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad. Because look at that, we've got a couple things we have, uh, compliance we've got to do here. A couple things here we'll be all fine with, so. And then we've got to fight these guys too. So you guys should be more than fine, as we are not choosing insignias, but we're going to capture Northern Epirus, and then we're going to purchase Cyprus as well. We, oh my god, are you kidding me? And all this stuff, revigorating morale, which is all the stuff we had to do against the Turks, but, like, this stuff was all okay eventually, like, build region supply centers, so that was really dumb, I, I didn't realize that that was actually in the focus tree and whatnot, so, Valor would be nice. There you go. Yay! Is this a core, or is this... Yeah, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh! Oh, god dang it. No, we have no political power. God dang it. Bruh. Happy 1922, everybody. Oh, hello. What happened to this guy? Uh, Lizard, a Lizard. I like that. Fucking mightily thick. Occupation of the Ruhr. That sucks for you all. Anything else here? I mean, we're making ground attack planes. We've got sea planes. We've got a lot of stuff going for us. It's finally actually look, looking like really good for us. So. And max out naval XP. Probably don't need to make training anymore then. Purchase Cyprus would be a great idea. Because after that, we've done everything we pretty much could. And the entire focus tree, except all this stuff down here. The British have accepted. After long negotiations, the British have accepted our offer. Cyprus will be swiftly transferred to us. It's a great diplomatic victory for nations, and the locals have gathered to celebrate the liberation. Impressive. Very nice. Ah, look at that. Nice. Is there anything we could do to, like, get instant cores or anything? Is this all we can do? Oh, that's actually a lot of fun. Mutinies. Oh my god. Bruh. War measures, foreign coin purchases. I think that's all we can do. So we got all of larger Greece back, which is fantastic. We got accords on a lot of the areas, not all of them yet. But I think that's all we can really do. I wish we could get more territory here. And I wish we could get these guys under us as well, but you know. 
it is what it is. But I think that's all that we have written for us. Um, if there's more, please let me know in the comments below because I really don't know. But yeah, overall, it was kind of annoying having to use cons commands for a lot of this stuff. But in the end, at least we can look like the good old Hellenic Republic the way we really should historically and even in real life today. Eh, poor Greece. If only it looked like this today. <sighs> Very sad. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.